What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to, ep what is it, episode? It's episode 36, I think. How's it going, everybody? Good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, because today's gonna be another fantastic episode. But there's one thing I gotta do first, and, and oh, it's right over here. Do I have any water bottles, please? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. I want to try something real quick. You guys saw in the last episode, I got some of this phantom membrane. I have heard some things, and I'm pretty sure that this is going to make some kind of new potion, like a slow-falling potion. I got I to gotta see this for myself. And there it is. And there it is. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, well, how do I want to test this thing? Um, maybe, oh, I could just, <laughs> I could just jump into the ravine. Yeah, why don't we do that? So I'm gonna head to the top, and I guess we'll try this. I, I guess it just, like, it it's, like, kind of like a levitation potion, but reversed, I suppose? I, I don't really know. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. So if I take this, and I jump off the edge, oh, <laughs> that is sweet. So I'm, I'm guessing you don't take any fall damage, and you just, oh, wow. Oh, that is awesome! I might have enough time to do it once more. I'm gonna try to get, <laughs> I'm gonna try to get to the top of this. If it runs out while I'm in midair, that is going to be very unfortunate. Hopefully, it won't. All right, I gotta, I, I guess I just jump in. I guess I'm just jumping. Oh, this is so sweet, and you can glide down too. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, all right. So we'll call it there. But that. That is a really cool potion. I might not be sleeping that much. If I could get if I could get slow falling potions like that, those are awesome. And then there's one other thing that you guys were saying, yeah, let me try this. So if I were to oh Okay, I did not mean to do that. I guess you could be holding the bread though. Can I do this? Can I put zombie heads? Wow. I did not know you could do that. Now could I also put that? No, I can't. Okay. Um Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is, uh, that is very cool. I might have to leave that. Or maybe I could put, like, a skeleton head or something. Can I get the bread back? Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> very interesting stuff. That, uh, that leaves some possibilities. I gotta work on getting more heads. I don't think we'll be doing it today. But maybe in the future. I really want to make a farm for it. So, uh, maybe soon. Maybe soon. But in the meantime... Why don't we check out the to-do list to see what we're doing today? So there are a few things I want to do. The big thing is today we are making a portal room, which I am very excited about. So I want to do that. I need to get rid of the old portal that's just above ground somewhere. And I also want to hook up this portal room to redstone, which should be pretty cool. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to improve uh, the bedroom aquarium. You guys gave a few suggestions, and I definitely have some ways that I think I can and fix it up. But first things first, we're gonna work on this portal room. So uh, over here in the last episode, we worked on our auto smelter. If you guys missed it, it's a pretty cool system. It's fully automatic. It gets the job done. But uh, yeah, that was here. And then uh, I started brainstorming about uh, different things I could put in this room right here. And you guys, for the most part, suggested a portal room. And I think that is brilliant. Sorry, I think I, I think I just got a text, but yes, uh, I, I think this is a good idea. It's gonna be a nice little spot to have a portal room. So I want to go ahead and uh, just start breaking some, uh, breaking some of this up, uh, cleaning out the area. I, I did do a little bit here, but I think I might have to take out uh, a little bit more of the area before I get started. So we can have an entrance kind of like this, uh, just something a little interesting, uh, I, I suppose. I might might want to make a few changes to it later, but uh, there we go. And then after that, I'm thinking we we uh, we bring it down um, a little bit just so we can fit a bigger portal. So I'll take this down and oh, oh, is that gonna oh, is this gonna be a Oh no, I think I have silk touch. I was about to say, thought that was gonna be a silverfish block. Yeah, okay, that's looking good to me. Uh, and then I think we could just have the portal right back here, um, and bring it up. Oh, oh, okay, that's not, that's not, no, no, this is fine, this is fine. Bring it around like that, and there we go. I, I gotta get rid of this middle block, but I think that should be good right here. So let's take a peek. 
yeah, okay, I'm a fan of that, so we'll leave that the way it is. And now, uh, we gotta decorate the room and, and hook it up to redstone, but a simple, a simple little portal right there, not too bad. I don't really know exactly what I wanna do with the walls, but I, I think I'm just gonna use a mixture of all this, uh, these different types of stone, and we can work something out with that. So, maybe get something like that going, bring it around there, uh, that's too many of those in a row. Uh, we'll put that there, and, uh, we can wrap this around the whole thing. And there we are, just like that. Uh, I think next, above, I probably want to take a little bit more of this out and then uh, kick it back one, and I guess I might try spruce wood, just to keep it kind of similar to the other stuff we've done. Um, so yeah, I think I might try that. Yeah, that looks good to me. That looks really good. So, uh, I think I'll just do that and then probably bring it back here. Might have to put it behind the portal like this, and that's a whole bunch of gravel, isn't it? Um, but yeah, this should be good. So, uh, I'm gonna do this to the other side, and then right in here, uh, in the corners, I think that's gonna be a good spot for some more oak wood, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be good. I'm not sure. We'll see how it turns out, though. We'll see. And then back here, I'm just gonna do, uh, I guess that, just to cover it up, make it look decent. And, and then the, in those two holes, that is where I'm gonna have to have uh, some dispensers if I want to make it automatic. So, uh, there we are. A pretty interesting layout. I gotta do the roof now. Oh, and then I also gotta get uh, this right here. But... Uh, we're we're getting some progress, so I might start working on the redstone. I actually, you know what? I should probably do the floor first, shouldn't I? Yeah, let me let me uh, let me get that done. So for the floor, I think I want to just use a mixture of uh, this birch and uh, in stone. So uh, just do something like that, and then down here I'm gonna have mostly birch, and then uh, up there it'll be like a, a small transition, maybe. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. Something like that, possibly. Okay, okay, I'm feeling that. So, uh, nice little transition there, and then up here, uh, up here I might have a few, uh, pieces of birch like that, and then the rest can just be, uh, some of this stone do I have? Oh, I could also just use these as well. So there we are. I'll smooth out the transition a little bit more uh, as we go, but that is, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I will take that. Uh, now the next thing I want to do is I want to figure out how I can spice up the walls. Maybe just put some glowstone back there? Some glowstone and some iron bars, maybe? Yeah, okay, this one looks good. This one looks good. I like, I, I like the way this, uh, this turns out. So we got to do that. Yeah, that should work as well. And then over here, all I gotta do is, uh, drop it right there, and we should be good. So that should actually light up the room fairly well, which, uh, which should be nice. Um, now, now I think the only thing I'm really missing is the roof, so I should probably start working on that. I think I need to go one higher here, so I'm gonna cut this out and, uh, figure out what to do for the top. So I think the first things first is I should probably connect, uh, all of these logs. I, I don't know how easy this is gonna be. Oh, yeah, there we are. Bring this one over. All right, and now and now for the ceiling, I, I think I just might use some of these uh, spruce slabs. Get it going a little bit here, so we can bring this over. Oh, come on, there we go. Um, perfect. And, and then I think on this layer, we'll probably just go up one more, add a little bit of depth. So... I, I think we're just now done, and just like that, uh, we got an almost complete room. Yeah, this is looking kind of cool. How dark is it going to be if I take those? Okay, not bad, not bad. And then I could also always have uh, hidden lighting under this, so if I wanted to go ahead and, and throw something down there, well, I should probably grab this out first. Yeah, so I could just throw a torch down here, put this back on, and it's a little brighter. Could do the same over here as well if I wanted to. Um, so, ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. So, I think that is technically a completed portal room. Like, er everything is good to go here. I just need to hook it up with redstone, but, um, yeah, they, I'm, I'm liking it. And then, oh, back here, all right, hold on one sec. Back here, I could have a little bit of storage. Just, you know, if I have a bunch of stuff that I need to drop off really quick, I could just throw it into here. Uh, so that is looking pretty good. I would say this is a completed uh, portal room. Now, now the only thing I gotta do now is, is set up the redstone, make it an official portal room. You know, one that's got a little bit of flavor to it. So, uh, the plan, I think, is I wanna try 
to hook up um, a redstone around to these dispensers, and then what you can do is if you have a flint and steel inside, and then you power it up, it should turn on the portal, and then you can also break it with uh, water. So that... That's the plan. Hopefully this will work out. So if I have the button there, uh, I think it should power this. Yeah, it should power that. And then we can just wrap this around a little bit and bring it through. Where is, uh... Oh, there's the dispenser. Just like that. Alright, so that should definitely do the trick. I can try to see... Uh, let's listen for the tick. Nope, that was not... <laughs> <laughs> that definitely did not work. I see what it is. You got it. You got to wrap it around like that. So now I should hear a tick if this works properly. Yeah. Okay. So that is now uh, properly working. I can do the same thing on the other side. So string that from the dispenser all the way back over to the button, and that should be good as well. Okay. Yeah. So those those definitely work. Let me go ahead and patch these holes back up. And then there is one last thing I want to do. So this would technically work, um, and, I, and I can show you guys right now. Let me go grab a, a water bucket and a flint and steel. So basically what it does is if you, have, if you have the flint and steel inside of the dispenser, it'll just dispense a little flame, which is basically the same as you lighting it yourself. So if I were to throw this uh, into there and then put the water bucket right there, uh, we, we should get a working portal, so let me see. Yeah, there we go, and then if I wanted to put it out, I can just hit that. Now, this is the issue. It, the water kind of fills up the whole floor. I don't really like that. So, why don't I try to set up a little bit more redstone, you guys know? You guys know I'm a redstone expert these days. <laughs> no, not really. But I do I do have an idea, and that idea would be to have a piston right here that retracts so it like creates a hole for the water to go in. Um, and I think if I could put a pressure plate right there uh, so that it, it happens when I'm standing on the pressure plate, yeah, okay, this could work out. This could definitely work out. So how... Am I gonna go about this? I think the piston would go there, right? Yeah, okay, because if it's extended, it would go out all the way to the top, so I can throw uh, some of the birch right there. That should be good. Now, this is the tricky part, because the, uh, the, the, the thing has to be powered the whole time, and then it has to be unpowered uh, once I want it to. So could I just do a switch like this? Wait a second, did I just, oh wow, okay, that's really compact, that's a, that's a pretty good little contraption there, let me see if this will work, so I think if I step on that, it should, yeah, it should make that go down, right, oh no, oh no, maybe not, oh wait, why is this, oh, 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 I need to have, excuse me, this has to be a full block, there we are, and now, now it should work if I can just get out of here. Thank you. Um, let's see. Yes, 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 it does. Now, now I probably want to clean this up, make it look a little bit nicer. So, uh, let me do that. Uh, fix up the floor, and uh, I'll be right back. So now, every time I step here, yes, it should open that up. Oh, and then I got to get this last thing, shouldn't I? Hold on just a second. Can I do this? Oh, yeah, I can while I'm sitting right here. There we are. Uh, so that hole will open. And basically the water can go down. So if I do this and then hit the water, it's just going to be contained, you know? It looks a little bit nicer. So I think that is a... Uh that's a mission success. The redstone has been hooked up. So let's try it one more time. If I want to start this, it'll turn on the portal. And then if I want to stop the portal, just step right on there, hit the water, uh, then let the water back in. And we have a fully redstone operated nether portal. That is is solid. Now, before I actually use that portal, because I, I do want to give it a test run, I should probably go get rid of the other one that is, uh, okay, yes, there we are, <laughs> that's, uh, that's above ground. So let me go destroy this one, and, uh, and then we can test out the portal and make sure everything runs smoothly. Yeah, so here it is, this one has to go, just, just so I know for sure that I won't be spit out into this one, because if that happens, I don't really know how you can fix that. Sometimes nether portals get really weird, so I'm just doing this to be safe. 
So there we are. That one is now cleared. And I gotta show you guys something that I found out while I was off camera. This beacon right here, it's a perfect little spot you can jump in. We got the fishing pond right down here. And, uh... It makes for a great little elevator, <laughs> so we'll do that, and now I guess we can go actually try out the portal and see, make sure everything works out, and uh, and then we can call it officially complete. So we'll flip this on, and then we can hop inside. I'm crossing my fingers. Please, please work. Don't mess me up. Okay, we're here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What's up, guys? What's up, guy? How are you even down here? There's no such thing as water in the nether. I, uh... Okay, whatever. I'll... Are you even gonna attack me? No. What is this? <laughs> Should I leave him down here? We can name him. We can have a little friend. Nah, I want that Nautilus shell. There we are. Much more important. <laughs> so, uh, so here we are. Is this a different portal, though? Uh, I'm not sure. This could have kicked me into the same portal. I think it did. I think it did. I think this is the same one as before. So let's hope that it puts me back into our little room that we just made. If it does, we have nothing to worry about. And it did. It did. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, and now if I want to go ahead and put it out, I can do it like so. This is exciting. Ladies and gents. We have a completed nether portal with redstone, and it's not messing up. It's going back and forth perfectly. So I guess now the one thing we probably want to do is start working on, like, a nether hub or something. That that we could do. That we could do. So the last thing I want to do today is I want to fix up this aquarium. Now, uh, there are a few changes. As you can see, I, I moved the painting over just one, so it looked a little bit nicer. I didn't really like how that was touching uh, with this, but I think you guys for the most part like the little loft I have here. Uh, you guys seem to really enjoy it. No one was really saying anything negative about it, but one thing that you guys were talking about is this. Uh, and this is just, it's just too much in the way. So, I can go ahead and get rid of that. Makes it look a lot better, right? But, um, I, I guess if I put fence there, it, it serves the same purpose of looking like it supports it, but you can actually see a whole bunch more. Uh, and also, the glass does not connect. So, I think that, uh, that definitely helps out quite a bit. And then, I can also bring it out a little more. So, if I were to go ahead and break this, and I want to do it with my hand just so I can replace really fast. Yeah, there we are. And uh, do one more here. Yeah, okay, that looks good. That looks good. A whole bunch more is now visible. It made it like two times bigger uh, just by doing those small things. And it doesn't connect. You know, we still got a good little gap between the wall and, and the shelves and the paintings and all that and the glass, which I do like. So there we go. Now, the one thing, the one thing that I do have to mention that I'm really thinking about is someone said I should, uh, I should make it so that it goes onto the ceiling too. Uh, so we can like look up while we're sleeping and you'll be able to see a, a little bit of the pool or not the pool, the aquarium. That... I might try. I might try. I'll do that off camera though, and we'll see see if I can make it look good. But that has the potential to be pretty awesome. Not even gonna lie. But yeah, that's that. Just a quick little fix, making it look a little bit nicer. And now, anytime I want to relax in my room, maybe I'm having trouble falling asleep, I can just come by here, you know, look at our cool little fish, say hi to them, enjoy spending time with them. And, uh, <laughs> and then we can go to sleep. So that is the bedroom improvement, really all I wanted to do there. I think that's, that's just about it for today's episode. So the last thing we got to do is shout out the subscribers for the day. And here they are, King K, Arepa Plays, Axel Chavez, and Glenn Mendoza. Thank you guys so much. For, uh, for, for your comments, your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, it. It means a lot. It means a lot. So, as always, for those of you who have not seen the wall yet, just be patient. Your day will come. Your day will come. I promise. I promise. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Leave suggestions on what to do next. We we have a whole bunch of stuff we could do. We could work on that charged creeper farm, uh, the new nether hub, potential farms down there, a whole bunch of options. Just let me know what you guys want to see, and we could get it done. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Uh, for watching, sticking through the whole thing too. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, 
I'll talk to you later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.